Chicago Auto Show this past year, or even in years past, you've seen that we integrate music there. It's, uh, it's important to our DNA. It's a great way for us to connect to consumers in an emotional way. And, uh, so we've been using it a lot, since, uh, particularly since 2009 when we introduced the All New Soul, for those of you who remember. Uh, we had four spots rotating, and each spot had a different uh, uh, song associated with it. So it was a lot of fun. We created a lot of buzz uh, in the industry. Uh, but since then, we've done, in our Super Bowl spot, we featured Motley Crue. We've sponsored the Vans Warped Tour. We've had media buys with The Voice and with MTV. So it's really important for us to connect with consumers and raise the awareness of our brand through music. Now, we are coming off 2015, our best year ever. We sold over 625,000 vehicles. The first time that we've exceeded the 600,000 unit mark. Uh, we were up about 7.9%. The industry was up about 5.7%. So we were pretty pleased with our results. In fact, in uh, November of 2015, we sold our sixth millionth Kia since we arrived here in the United States back in 1994. But uh, for those of you who know us, you know we don't like to stop, we like to keep going. So 2016 is gonna be another banner year for the Kia brand, and we st we've started off strong already. We started with the introduction of the all new Optima in January, started to tease our Super Bowl spot with uh, Christopher Walken's voice in a couple of uh, Optima spots. And then on uh, February 7th, 50th uh, Super Bowl, uh, we featured Christopher Walken showcasing the all new Optima and showing how we as a brand don't like beige and the Optima stands out in a sea of beigeness. So there are no beige socks around here. So those of you who saw our spots, you can see I'm wearing these Super Bowl socks from there. So, but then uh, you know, earlier uh, in January, we had uh, CES where we introduced our DriveWise sub-brand to introduce our uh, path to autonomous driving. Shortly thereafter, we were in Detroit to introduce the all-new Telluride, as well as the Forte 5 and the Forte Sedan. Then quickly thereafter, we were in Chicago to introduce the Nero, our dedicated hybrid, along with the Optima Hybrid and the Optima Plug-in. And then, of course, just after Chicago Auto Show, we were the first uh, brand to appear on uh, the uh, jersey of a professional U.S. sports team. That was the NBA All-Star Game. And then uh, we finished the month strong from a sales standpoint. We sold over 49,000 vehicles in the month of February. We were up 13% versus an industry that was up about 6.9%. So all of these things from here up happened just in the first two months of the year. How many other brands can say that? And we're not done yet. <coughs> By the end of March, we will introduce the all new Cadenza at the New York Auto Show. We will have produced our two millionth vehicle down at our plant in West Point, Georgia, that opened back in 2009. And then uh, later this year, we're going to introduce our second North American plant uh, sometime this summer. So a lot's happened, and a lot's going to happen in 2016. And a big part of it is going to be the Sportage. It's an important part of the brand, an important part of 2016. And for those of you who've been with us for a while, you know that the Sportage was one of the original vehicles that we introduced back in late 1994. Since then, we've sold 716,000 Sportages. So a lot of vehicles on the road. In 2015, in the third generation Sportage, our sales were up about 25%. The CUV uh, segments were up about 18%. So we outperformed uh, the industry with a vehicle that was in its last uh, uh, model year. So the fourth generation, which you're going to see today, uh, is really going to showcase how we are reinventing our brand. And uh, a lot of you attend uh, these media events and auto shows and things where people are talking about the brand and how important the brand is. It's very important to us, particularly as we continue to try to change the perception of uh, our brand in people's minds. But it's important fact to note that a brand really exists only in one's mind. And uh, we track and study a lot of different brands, and we've realized and recognized that we have to constantly be reinventing ourselves, similar to some of the brands that you see here on stage. Consumers' uh, choices are changed. There's a lot of choice in the marketplace. 
Their desires change, so we as a brand and others are constantly reinventing. We have to come up with new products and services. And the Kia brand has done that over the last uh, eight years. In fact, uh, probably at, at a speed that uh, nobody had expected. In fact, uh, there are a lot of people though that still think of the Kia brand as having poor quality. But the reality of it is that we have the number two best quality in the industry an initial quality as ranked by J.D. Power, second only to Porsche. There are some people that think we don't have good reliability, that the vehicles aren't gonna last a long time, but the reality is we're number six in the industry uh, based on uh, recent uh, rankings from Consumer Reports. So these vehicles do last a long time. There are some people that think that the vehicles don't hold their residual value as soon as you drive it off the lot. Again, ALG tells us we have the six best residual values in the industry. Some people think, gosh, if I go to a Kia store, I'm not gonna get a very good customer experience. Our customer experience is ranked better than Honda, Ford, Subaru, Mazda, and many others, as told to us by J.D. Power. You know, back in uh, 2010, when we went uh, down to the tracks and put our Fortes on the track, there were many people that were skeptical, telling us those vehicles aren't even gonna make it one lap around the track. The reality of it is, six years later, we had seven championships. There are a lot of people that think we are only a Korean brand. We produce vehicles around the world. In fact, 40% of our U.S. sales come from vehicles that are produced here in the United States. So we are truly a global brand. And we're one of the top ranking brands, according to Interbrand, in their 2015 study, ahead of companies like Harley-Davidson, Chevrolet, Lego, and Heineken. So, a lot has happened and it's going to continue to happen. Uh, 2011 model year is when we introduced the Sportage. And who would have thought in the world around us so much has changed? I mean, who would have thought that US-Cuba relationships would be fine? Who would have thought that we'd be walking around with watches where we can connect to the world? We can connect with anything and any, anyone around the world. Who would have thought McDonald's would be serving breakfast all day? And for those of you who have young kids, who would have thought you'd be on the brink of craziness if you heard Adina Menzel's Let It Go song one more time? <laughs> I know, with my three young kids, I was almost there. But a lot has changed for the Kia brand as well since 2011. Every one of our vehicles has undergone a transformation, a product reinvention. Again, going back, we're constantly trying to reinvent ourselves and challenge traditional automotive convention. Some of the vehicles, like uh, Sorento and Optima, have actually undergone two reinventions since 2011. So we're gonna continue on this path and you're gonna see some other exciting stuff uh, later this year from us. So it all adds up to, it's time for consumers to discover the new Kia. And this is a tagline that we've been using since we started to introduce the Optima earlier this year. We want to convey to people that the perceptions that they have of the old brand are gone. We have the design, we have the quality, we have the reliability, we have the technology, we have the safety features. We are a brand to contend with. In fact, uh, Consumer Reports uh, says the same thing. So we've been validated by a third party. And we're gonna to continue to communicate that message as we introduce the new Sportage to the public. Our official advertising launch will begin in early April. We'll have a series of three different spots, some of which will tie back to uh, the musical theme that you're experiencing here in uh, San Diego. This is the storyboard for one of the spots. Uh, we're actually in production right now, so they'll be on air again in early April. Here we have three friends. We call them kind of passionate nomads. There are people who are constantly in search of something new and exciting. They kind of blaze their own path in life. So here they're taking the technology that they hold in their hand and they're pairing it with the technology in the vehicle. And then uh, they're in search of kind of a secret concert, something like you'd find here in the warehouse district of San Diego or in some of the towns and cities that uh, you live in. So it's that search of discovery with that musical component. In these spots, of course, we're gonna showcase the great design of the, uh, the Sportage. 
and it was designed in Frankfurt in Korea, of course, under the eyes of uh, Peter Schreier and his team. It was tuned at our California Proving Grounds, and we're going to showcase the superior craftsmanship, the driving <coughs> dynamics, the technology, and everything else that's so great about this vehicle that you're going to experience here shortly. Thank you.